Hey, what's going on guys? Clickwood here back again bringing you guys another Madden 16 video Guys, what I've got for you today is some ranked draft champions gameplay I hadn't really played any ranked draft champions yet. You guys can obviously see here This is the first time that I've actually logged into the game mode at all I know that's probably surprising to a lot of you guys I just don't have the time. I would love to play more, but I just don't really have the time. But I finally got a little bit of time to actually get in here and try this game mode out. So you guys are going to see my first draft here. Uh, we're starting off, obviously, with the coach. And, uh, you know, none of these coaches are really ones that I'm particularly comfortable with. I've used the Vikings. I've used the Bills. Don't really like either of them, to be completely honest with you. So I tried out the Colts. Eh, I'm not really like a huge fan of the Colts, but that's what we decided to go with. Uh, again, I, I'm not comfortable with the playbook. Haven't ever used it, so I don't even really know what the plays are, are in it. Uh, but we're going to start off here with our first round, and it is just absolutely atrocious. Two slow-ass running backs and then a fullback. I decide actually to just go with the fullback here, Anthony Sherman. He's 89 overall. I'm just hoping that Anthony Sherman can actually get out there. And at least make us some blocks. I mean, that's the big thing. I run a lot, and I use a fullback a lot in the running game, so I decide to go with that. Second one here, uh, we got some slower safeties, a uh, short safety there, and then we've got a fast middle linebacker. I usually use her, my middle linebacker, and speed is extremely important to me, so we decide to go with the middle linebacker there. Uh, hopefully, he can make us some plays. And then in this round, we've got a couple different opportunities here. Another middle linebacker there with Clay Matthews. I'm not going to double up on the middle linebacker, though. We are going to go with the left guard. I could have potentially decided to go with the tight end there, but he was a little bit too slow for my liking. I like a lot of speed. And then here we've got another couple of boring players here. Not really anything exciting. Uh, we're looking at some run blocking chances here with some of these guys. Uh, again, not really too exciting. I don't really like Ladarius Webb that much, to be honest with you. So what we decide to go with here is Jeff Schwartz. And uh, the reason that I went with Jeff Schwartz is because he's a right guard and I actually like to run a lot of sweeps and things like that where the right guard actually has to move. So uh, somebody with, uh, you know, having a little bit of an upgrade there over the default player that it gives you, I think is going to give me an advantage. And then right there, we're going to go with Jason Peters shoring up that left tackle position. Eddie Lacy's too slow for my liking. I need a faster running back. Here, it was really down to Fletcher Cox or Jamie Collins. I like Jamie Collins a lot because he has decent zone coverage and he's really a, a fast player as well at the left outside linebacker position somebody I don't really have to think about and I like that and then here we've got a, an opportunity to either get an amazing free safety in Devin McCourty who is one of the best safeties in this game very fast with great zone coverage or Khalil Mack I decided to go with Khalil Mack because he's fast again just like Jamie Collins good zone coverage but he can also rush the passer so I like that a lot here it comes down to Robert Mathis or Carlos Dunlop. Uh, obviously, Robert Mathis is playing linebacker in this, so I, I don't really like to move him down to defensive end because then he loses some of like his attributes and things like that. So we decided to go with Carlos Dunlop there, uh, and he's a decent pass rusher. Here we've got a couple different options here. Uh, we could really go with any of these guys, but uh, we've already got a right guard, so we're not going to go with TJ Lang. We've already got, obviously, uh, a left tackle, so we don't want to go with Andre Whitworth, although we could put him at another pl uh, position on the offensive line, and he would still be good. So would TJ Lang. But uh, what it comes down to is we don't really have a whole lot of defensive tackle right now, so we're going to go with Tyron Crawford, and uh, hopefully he can do a decent job for us playing up the middle and stopping the run. Moving on, we've got another chance here at another running back with Justin Forsett, but man, these running backs just are not quick enough for me. Like, I'm just not a big fan. So we go with Eric Decker. He's big. He's physical. He's at least a target. We don't really have a wide receiver yet, so we've got to get somebody. And then here we've got a couple of different players that we could go with. Again, another center, but I'm not big on centers. I don't really run up the middle that much. So we do go with Mike Evans. Big physical wide receivers on the outside with Decker and Evans. They should do a good job for us as a duo. And then right here, it pretty much comes down to we need a cornerback at this point. <laughs> I mean, we don't really have anybody. Uh, so we go with the cornerback there. 79 overall is going to be our best cornerback that is not good but hey we got to get something right here I really like this pick um you know I I we had a lot of left tackle opportunities here but I already picked one so it really came down to Mike Wallace or LaShawn McCoy Mike Wallace isn't quite as quick in this game as he has been in previous games LaShawn McCoy is our running back going forward here not really as fast as I would typically like out of a running back but he's decent enough Jason Durant here, or Justin Durant, excuse me, uh, is very, very quick. So we're going to go with him as a, another right outside linebacker. Hopefully we can put him at defensive end or take somebody else and put him at defensive end so that we can actually have uh, both those players on the field at once. And then finally, we end up with Willie Rolfe as a potential here, or Christian Okoye, which we're not going to go with. We've got to go with Randall Cunningham here. Again, we've already got the left tackle position shored up. Sucks that we couldn't get the new legend with Willie Rolfe, but hey, 
we definitely like Randall Cunningham as a quarterback. That is going to be our team, guys. Not the best lineup ever. I completely understand that. In the very first game, look at this. We're worse at just about everything on the loading screen. <laughs> like, this is not good. One of our best players is a freaking fullback, and that is never a good thing. He's got Richard Sherman. He's got John Elway. Obviously, he had an amazing draft. So hopefully, we can overcome this. I'm not really too sure. I, I mean, a lot of people play draft champions, uh, and I know a lot of people play ranked draft champions, but I think that the competition is a little bit higher on ranked because it actually does cost you something to play so uh hopefully we can get the w here guys we're going to start off on offense here very first play of the game i'm starting off here with a play action pass but i'm actually going to cancel the play action here before the play even starts because i like that his cornerback is backed off there on decker and we find him wide open there he's going to get open every single time against that coverage when he's running that route if they're backed up so i definitely like to see that second play we have a toss in this playbook it's not quite as effective as the one that i usually like to run out of the strong power but it works anyway next play we're gonna find our tight end wide open look at him burn the defense there the safety did not play that well at all that is Zach Miller getting wide open and he is gonna score a touchdown pretty quick for Zach Miller he gets there into the end zone very very quickly not taken down from behind so we start this game off with a touchdown looking pretty good here on the first drive my opponent right away looking to run with his quarterback John Elway and he throws it into traffic we swat that one down well, I guess we didn't swat it down but we at least we at least knock it away there uh hit the receiver when he makes the tap or when he makes the catch so uh no completion there and then on third down look at that threading the needle there between like five defenders absolutely ridiculous i can't believe he made that throw but he did make the play gotta give him credit nice throw there into traffic uh second down now second and nine and he is gonna try and go deep here again looking down the field but nobody is there and we get the sack on him jamie collins comes off the edge with a nice play there brings up now a third and 17 hopefully we can make the stop here and he's gonna throw it deep into coverage here to his running back and we make the interception there with a cornerback i don't even know really who that was uh but it doesn't really make a difference we are gonna take over here on offense Lashawn mccoy breaking a tackle there picking up a first down and right here we're gonna go back over the middle here this time it is mike Evans there on the left side of the screen making the catch and right here guys second and one oh my goodness Richard Sherman nearly picked six that thing but we do make the completion there to Eric Decker that was a dangerous dangerous throw not the best throw of my life I'll tell you that first and 10 here and we've got a receiver here open is he gonna make the catch in bounds no not quite doesn't make the catch so that brings up now a third and 10 and this time we are gonna make the catch there Zach Miller for his second touchdown of this game making it now 14 to nothing here we're looking pretty good here first and 10 now for my opponent and look at that on the run making me miss there in the coverage I just couldn't keep up with that tight end he made a great play there uh, good throw on the run there by Elway I really had to try and stop both Elway running and the receiver there so that that wasn't a great play by me on defense uh was not a good call but he does pick up a huge first down there for his team and now he's going to take off here on second and six with Elway right into traffic does not fumble the ball I guess Elway being a legend he's got decent carrying for a quarterback so uh gosh I don't know man I, I feel like you should fumble more often with your quarterback when you don't even cover up like that but hey what are you going to do it's Madden this year man you just don't fumble as much in this year's Madden for some reason I don't know but my opponent's continuing to move the ball down the field here move, using some different sets here uh some different looks to kind of keep me off guard and right here he's going to take off again with Elway I know that he wants to run with his quarterback now uh, obviously he's got Elway so he's got some mobility right here he is going to make a mistake though he could have definitely just run a simple fullback dive there and at least picked up a couple yards. We decided to go with the fake toss there, and that time we hit him in the backfield for a huge loss, and he's going to throw it into traffic here, nearly throwing the pick there on second down. Third now and goal, and he is going to continue to try and scramble here with Elway, looking to find somebody, and he throws it off his back foot into the end zone. Thankfully for him, that was my defensive tackle making a play in coverage, swatting that one away. Brings up a fourth and goal, and he easily kicks it through there for three. So 14-3, to three, we're still up two scores. That is pretty decent. We're happy with that throwing it here in our flat to the fullback there for a short gain now it's third and six and we've got to find somebody open here and we are going to take the sack unfortunately there not great protection there by our offensive line despite the fact that we paid to get some de decent offensive line they did not do a good job there our cornerbacks though the guys that we didn't really pay for at all suddenly making plays there deep in coverage he made the guys make an interception earlier that time they swatted away on a deep ball but unfortunately this time we do not make good coverage there that was bad users by me if you go back and watch that when I did not play that well I should have seen the four verts coming and for some reason I just didn't see it coming this time though we're gonna make a little bit better plays in coverage he is not finding anybody at all and this time we get the user pick coming back over the middle and that 
that is going to pretty much be the end of the first half. So my opponent's got the ball now starting in the second half, but he is back at his own 20-yard line. Throwing it deep again here, trying to test our defense. And again, we're going to swat that one away. Thurman with a beautiful play. That's the second time he's done that in this game. Swatting one away on a deep ball, stopping the aggressive catch. Always good to see. And right here, guys, we are going to bait him for another user pick. That is the second user pick that we've gotten with Christian Jones in this game. Very, very happy about that one. He's only 78 overall, but hey, he's quick. And like I said, you need somebody that's got speed when you're using your middle linebacker. Unfortunately, right here, look at this disaster. Our running back just steps right into the quarterback, knocks him over. Sets up now a third and 14. We set our running back into a block there. And this time, we are going to find a receiver deep down the field for the third touchdown pass of the game for Randall Cunningham. Beautiful, beautiful throw there by Cunningham in traffic and he's going to be getting the ball back again here as we get another interception there my opponent throws another pick down 21 to 3 and as you can probably imagine that is pretty much going to do it in this football game guys he couldn't really stop me on offense uh, so he is going to go ahead and concede the game so we get our first W of the draft champions season or the ranked draft champion season I should say uh, so here we are guys we are now one win into the season Looking pretty good. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, do me a favor, please go ahead and click that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. If you would, I would greatly, greatly appreciate it. And guys, let me know in the comment section below. Do you like ranked draft champions? Do you guys like watching this? Do you like seeing me uncomfortable with playbooks? Because I've never used this one before. I really just have to know concepts, I guess, because I have no idea what plays I'm running. If you guys enjoy it, do me a favor. Let me know in the comment section below. And with that, like and subscribe to the channel. Thank you guys again so much. Talk to you again soon, and I'll see you guys next time here on Madden 16 Ultimate Team. Hey guys, if you're enjoying my videos, do me a favor, click that subscribe button on the right side of your screen right now. Otherwise, you can always check out my previous video by clicking on the left side of the screen. Thank you guys again.